Good morning. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Here on Wednesday, I love to share a word to encourage someone. And you know, when uh, you're getting bombarded with all kind of thoughts that uh, stir up your emotions, that cause you to be angry, and cause you to say things maybe you, you've not said, you know, one of the greatest challenges is to control the tongue. Matter of fact, James even says, no one, no man can tame the tongue. But today I want to talk about ways that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. You know, the Hoover Dam was built back in the 30s, and it literally provides water and benefits and electricity uh, to all the uh, Arizona, Nevada, uh, California. It's amazing all the benefits of the controls. There's 17 turbines that control the Hoover Dam. So much concrete, 660 feet thick. Think about that. They said you could build a two-lane highway, uh, concrete, all the way from California to New York. That's how much, that's how much concrete is in the Hoover Dam. Well, you know, if engineers and brilliant men created and engineered the Hoover Dam, I believe there's ways we can structure our life so that we can better uh, bless him, praise him, and ways that we can use our tongue. And I may retake this, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. We've got jets going over top of us. But you know, you can't control everything that is around you. You can't control the F-14s that are uh, swinging by right now. But what we can control is what's on the inside of us. God says out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know, I, 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 want, I, I, want, I want the Spirit of God to flow out of me in, in an incredible way. But there's structure that I have to bring to my life if I am going to be the man that God wants me to be. And I'm definitely going to have to retake this because no doubt I have forces that are hindering uh, the sound, I'm sure. Let's talk a few moments about that structure. You know, the greatest thing you can do every morning is change the channel. In other words, maybe you didn't sleep good. Maybe you're thinking about the weight of all you're going to have to do today. I got a lot on the agenda today. But the first thing I can do, I can begin every day with our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Uh, the greatest channel you can get on every morning is the channel of prayer. When you and I begin to talk to God, he says to start out with praise. He said, hallowed be thy name. You know, it can lift me up when I begin to think on, he's Jehovah Jireh, my provider. He's my Jehovah Nisi. He's my victory. He is my Jehovah Sidkenu. He is my righteousness. He is my Jehovah Shalom. He is my peace. You ought to learn all the Hebrew names. He's Jehovah Nisi, which means he's my victory. When you begin to learn the names of God, I'll, I'll tell you, friend, it'll help like those turbines on that Hoover Dam that can control the waters. You know, one of the benefits of the Hoover Dam is the fact that uh, all the land in that area, the Colorado River, would flood and it would destroy so much property and land and crops and so forth. Well, you know, if we're not controlling what comes out of our mouth and the way we do that, we need, uh, we, we don't have a turbine, but we have the power of the Holy Spirit to help us, something to stand up on the inside of us to help us so that we can control what we're saying. Have you ever uh, opened up your mouth and said, ooh, you said something, you say, why did I say that? Uh, yeah, we're all gonna make mistakes. We're all gonna have some bumps in the road, but I wanna encourage you today. Peter said, add to your faith, and one of them is self-control. So what are you, how are you, how am I gonna control, Pastor, what I'm saying out of my mouth? I wanna encourage you today, whether it's uh, in a heated moment with your children or a heated moment with your spouse or someone at work or 
possibly a moment you're driving and uh, it's a good thing they can't hear what you're saying because it, it may have created even a mushroom into a greater disaster. Friend, today God wants to help us and he can help us and encourage us by structuring our life. Start it out with prayer every morning and the greatest thing you can do during the day is to fill your mouth with praise. You know, a few days ago that I, I was facing some some just little things that were nagging and trying to stir up my emotions. And I got up that morning and said, Lord, I'm determined today. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to praise you. You know, Peter even says, of all people, because Peter opened up his mouth and at times he allowed his own mouth to get a little bit out of control and said things he shouldn't have said. But you know what? Peter's the one that said, if, if in a man will love life and see good days or happy days, let him reframe his tongue from evil. Uh, friend, we need the power of the Holy Spirit to help us. So we start with praying every day. Pray the Lord's Prayer. But all throughout the day, find ways to bless him. Find ways to praise him. You say, but pastor, nothing's going right. Well, you see, your mouth can can either produce, uh, I, I believe he's going to deliver me and help me today out of the situation I'm in. So, so your tongue will either bring forth deliverance or defeat. Your tongue will either bring forth the peace of God or you can focus on the pain that you're dealing with. You'll, you'll either focus on, I'm going to triumph over this, or you can focus on your trouble. I want to encourage you today to bless the Lord. David said, I'll bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. There's so much I want to say today. I know my time is short. And uh, you, you know, we, we here's one thought I'll leave with you. God is listening to what you're saying. You know, the Bible's full of individuals. Uh, Miriam, she spoke against Moses, an Ethiopian woman that he married. And the Bible says that God heard it. You know, there are consequences of saying things we shouldn't say. Miriam was put out of the camp for seven days and she uh, became leprous. And, uh, you know, God is, is not uh, very happy when we choose to just not control what's coming out of our mouth. Well, I hear some more jets on the way. I'm going to end this, but let me pray with you. Father, today, encourage your people. Help us to see the benefits in blessing you and praising you and praying to you every day because, Lord, you'll give us the faith and you'll also said, add to your faith self-control. God, help us through the structure and the power of the Holy Spirit to do just that today. We love you. We bless you. We thank you. I look forward to seeing you. If you don't have a home church, come and visit us at Church of Hope. And uh, I just believe God is going to continue. We had a great, wonderful service last weekend. We apologize the technology. We had a hiccup there. And uh, our uh, Brother John, our media people, they're, they are working hard to, to fix all those issues, but I hope to see you Sunday at 10 a.m., and if you can't be there, Lord willing, everything will go well this weekend online as well. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you soon. You're my prayers today. Bye-bye.